Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a bit of a first impression on a brand new product. This is on the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And this is something that was just released within uh, about the last week or so. I know it was available on QVC in Select Shape and Sephora and a lot of the other retailers just launched this last week. And I was matched last night, hopefully this is a good color match, but she actually matched me in the lightest shade of the Bare Porcelain. So this is an 01 Bare Porcelain right there. And a lot of the other shades might have worked, but they were a little bit too dark yellow looking. So this is very pale. This is what the bottle looks like. And this is supposed to be uh, revolutionary. It's really getting rave reviews. Um, it states to shake well for seamless skin perfecting coverage. Now this is created without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance. So it's a very pure bare minimum ingredient. And this has skin skin benefits in it with uh, vitamin C. It's skin brightening superpowers known to fade existing dark spots and discolorations for more even skin tone. It contains titanium dioxide, so it's got an SPF of 20 in it. And it also contains lilac plant stem cells. They're recognized for their exceptional healing abilities and are known to provide powerful antioxidant protection. Now, this comes with a, well, it doesn't come with, but they recommend that you use their special uh, perfecting face brush. And they did not have any last night at the store when I picked this up, but they state that you can, it says you can use your fingertips. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, well, I haven't tried it at all yet. But they state if you're going to use uh, another brush and not the recommended brush. It's basically a flat brush and there's like a little spot hollowed out in the middle that you put the, the foundation in. They recommend that you use a synthetic brush, not a natural fiber brush, because like if the natural fibers soak it up and you only use a few drops of this uh, because it's very concentrated, so they definitely state to use a synthetic brush. Um, I'm going to either try my fingertips or this is the e.l.f. It's the small stipple brush. It's the only thing that I could find that had not natural fibers in it. So we'll see how that works. Um, but this I'm excited to try because, you know, my skin is pretty good. I don't go out in the sun much. And I, you know, try to take good care of it with products. But I do have, you can see, you know, I've got some uh, dark spots, I guess, from... I had some blemishes last month, and when they go away, I have little dark red spots from them. Now, eventually they'll go away, but it does take a while, and you know, I don't like to use a lot of foundation, but I like to cover those up because if I put blush on them, it looks like I got red splotches. Say I even have some here, and I don't know where that one came from, but that appeared today. So let's give it a try and see. Now, they say you use just a few drops. The girl last night used three one on this side, one here, and then one on the forehead in the middle area. They state that you can go up to five drops for a fuller coverage, um, but if you want more sheer, you know, you can start with a couple drops and then build up. So here is what it looks like. So that is one drop right there, and wow, I mean, you can see that it does. It is pretty concentrated and it does cover a good bit of area. So let's give it a try and see. I'll try with the stipple brush and we'll see how that goes. But there you go. But uh, I'll start here and see the girl. I swear she massaged this onto my face for like 20 minutes last night. Um, I thought about just doing one side of my face, but go ahead and you know what? Let me try it with my fingertips on this side of my face. Mm. 
It feels really nice. Feels really lightweight, not really like I'm putting anything at all on at all. Um, yeah, what the heck? Now I will say that normally. I don't have dry skin, but the last couple of days for some reason, I don't know why, my skin has been a bit dry right here on the tip of my nose, on my chin, and a couple spots over here. And I will say that if you have drier skin and it's flaky, you can see the foundation on those areas. It does tend to kind of, I guess, it, it pulled a little bit last night, uh, pulled or separated, and you could see the foundation on the dry spots of my skin. Now, the rest of my skin, you couldn't, you couldn't see it at all. It blended in very nicely. Um, that was three drops. Let's go ahead and add just another because I don't know why. Right. Why not? Right. Let's see if we can cover up. So if you do have drier skin, um, you might want to get a sample of this before you buy it and see if it works for you. But I did, I did exfoliate really well today. Yeah, so this is how the girl did it last night. Basically, she did a lot of blending or just kept massaging it into the same spots and it just kind of soaked in. So not too bad. I can't really tell very well <laughs> um, with this lighting, but you know for the most part it feels really nice very light. It doesn't feel like I have anything caked on my face. Um, it seems to cover fairly well. That was four drops. You can still see just a little bit of my spots. Um, she recommended that if you're going to use a concealer that you actually do that first before you put the foundation on that you spot conceal first and then she recommended afterwards that you use your regular mineral veil and just you know swirl tap and buff that on over top of it and that's pretty much it. So there you go. I so far do like this. It's a very nice light coverage feels really nice on the skin. It's not drying. It doesn't feel oily. It feels very nice. It just, yeah, it just feels like I've put a nice serum on my face instead of an actual foundation. So, so far I do like it. Let's try and put a little bit. I don't know if I can spot concealer this or not. I don't know. But I do like it. So I'm going to try this a few more times and see if I can get it, you know, get a routine figured out with it. It does feel very, very nice. So if this holds up throughout the day, this will be very nice for a daily natural look because it does look like skin and not like caked on foundation. So, so far, so good. Don't really know if you need that perfecting brush or not, but that was with my e.l.f. stipple brush and my fingers here and there. Um, but overall, very nice. You know, if you only need about three or four drops of this a day, this will last quite a while. And with the skin benefits in it, I'm excited to see if it does help with my skin and brightening and getting rid of those dark spots. So, 
there you have it. I will wear this for a week or two and see what I think about it. And then I will come back with a review later to see if I like it and if this is a good color match for me or not. So let me know what you guys think and if you are going to try the new foundation and what you think of it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.